What is up everyone? Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. So we're here in Goatsa. To advance the storyline we gotta head to the palace. However, we need to fully explore the town first before going there. The hotel's an extremely secure place. They won't even allow anyone in here besides hotel guests. So we did explore quite a bit in the last episode. We explored all this section. Uh, we went to the shop over here. Uh, let's go this way now. We haven't went this way yet. Apparently there weren't any lifts at all back when my grandpa was young. Everyone lived over in the old city instead. This lift leads to the street in front of the palace. Goats are built across several levels, so we use lifts quite a bit. Yeah, we don't want to take the lift right now, though, because we need to go down to Low Town. The King of Goats was such an idealist when he was younger. I hear he traveled incognito all around the world. Our king guides this country with the sheer strength of his magic power. He's actually quite old now, but he sure doesn't act like it. Three pendulums. Alright, let's go back. And we'll head to Low Town now. Which shares the same name as Lowtown from uh, Final Fantasy XII. And we already heard that there's shops down here as well apparently. Maybe they'll have new accessories to buy. Magic Industrial Revolution took all our jobs because it can do everyone's work. Well, what are we supposed to do now, then? What do you have to do to live in, middle, in Middletown? It's got to be better up there than in this grimy dump of a place. Hello there. What can I get for you? I get everything, so please take a look around. It's like the magic engines have rendered all of us useless. Goats may be a superpower, but the city's actually getting worse and worse. Everyone loves that the magic industrial revolution has made life easier, even at the cost of so many jobs. You won't find it cheaper anywhere else. Oh great, the price of vegetables has gone up again. Can someone do something about this? My prices are too high. Don't be ridiculous. I'm giving you the best deal I can here. Inflation must have took over this place too like it has in real life. Doesn't it all look wonderful? Go ahead and buy it. You won't regret it. Mint powder. That building was supposed to be closed down a long time ago. Oh, was supposed to be closed down long ago, but you can hear people going in and out every hour, day or night. Ah, travelers. Yes. In that case, the building over there has an inn and a shop. I know it's a bit old, odd looking, but I'm sure you'll find it useful. Hey, are you lost? Can't blame you. Goza's roads can be pretty tough to follow for outsiders. 
All of our soldiers were annihilated in that crucial battle with Ura. It left our nation in, in a shambles. It's hard working here in Gotha. I haven't seen my family back home in ages. I'd like to tell them I'm doing fine. And I wish they'd let me know who they are. Hey, do you mind going to the city of Kent and giving a message to my younger brother? Sure. You'll do it? Wonderful. My name is Gelf. My brother's a gate guard in Kent. His name's... Yeah, we talked to him before. Gilgif. He has a bad temper, but he's a nice guy at heart. I'm sure he'll give you something for your trouble. Alright, we'll go talk to him. After we explore the city, that is. Because we might get more side quests, so... We have different floors here. Let's go to the seventh floor, I guess. Kind of weird. Abandoned apartment. <laughs> An alcohol. Oh, alcohol, nothing better. I'll be honest with you, viewers. I don't. I never really drank too much. I've only got drunk one time in my life. This building is a mess, isn't it? It's falling apart too. That's why I almost never see people going down to the bottom floor. I'm straight edge, so... We come here because it's nice and quiet. Makes it easier to have a conversation. What, you think we're on a date? No, not at all. How rude, asking me if we're on a date. Pretty creepy place. I'm not gonna lie. Mana Prime. So that's like an upgrade mana, upgraded mana capsule. One thousand gold. Nice. Let's continue going up here. We'll go down later. I'll just go up for now. Okay, we're blocked. I don't know how to get back. I don't know how to go up any farther from here. Alright, we'll go down then. We might have to go back up to the top and then... Uh, I wanted to see if I can activate that thing. Nope, I can't activate it. Make sure there wasn't one back here either. Nope, we're good. Okay, let's go down farther then. Try to go down as far as I can here. Nope, we can't. Can't go down any farther. Okay. So we'll go back. We'll use the elevator. And we'll go down the floor. We're down the temp floor. Or, I guess, oh, we're going up. Pretty massive area, though. Casino Gambler's Hideout. 
Everyone's trying their luck over in the back room. Why don't you give it a shot? I'll be honest with you, I'm not much of a gambler either. <laughs> Never gambled in my entire life except for in games. When it comes to gambling, you gotta know when to cash out and walk away. Lady Luck is a fickle mistress. The way I see it, gambling is a loser's game. If you're in it to win, then that just shows how much of a rookie you are. I just love the chaotic and feverish atmosphere in this room. This is what gambling is all about. He <laughs> he. Hey, so how are you f faring today, me? Well, I've been pretty unlucky today. This is supposed to be a game, but people often forget to enjoy while p playing it. Win or lose, it's all just for the fun at the end of the day. If you're gonna bet, might as well win, might as well bet something big. Besides that, makes it easier to quit when you lose. Middletown has all kinds of fancy doodads, but they got nothing on all the fun going on in this room. My wife can't stay away from the betting table. I wish she'd knock it off. But she's getting better at it all. At well, I'm pretty well ahead, so I better call it quits for today. Getting on a roll sure is nice. We really should stop while you're still ahead. That guy's gotten way too hot headed. If he doesn't quit soon, he's going to regret it. No, I just lost big time. My mom's going to kill me. I don't think the guy's much suited for gambling. He's terrible at big bat bets. He always pulls out in the wrong time. Great, my wallet's empty. I'm done for. But there is still one possibility. I only have 300 gold to work with. You, yes, you there. Please, could you find it in your heart to invest in a man down on his luck? I swear to you, I'll pay you back tenfold, twentyfold. Sure. You really... Oh, thank you. Now it's, now it's in the bag for sure. So how much you want to invest? Oh, thank you. I'm going to make a mint for you. Just watch. Sign loan papers. I owe you from the better. Just sit tight for a moment, okay? I'm gonna make you very, you a very, very happy man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will, buddy. This place is like Tatooine. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. This room has a reputation among the rich folk in Middle Town as a choice location for fun. Aren't you surprised? So think about this room that just. Exudes a wild rush mixed with a bit of danger. How it's so addictive. Innocence baton and innocence ring. Inflicts severe fire damage, inflicts severe damage on mechanical enemies, occasionally causes seal. <laughs> Septive Bonnie in. Okay, so we gotta leave and come back. I'm actually gonna speed this process up because we gotta do this ten times. I'm not gonna show me doing it every ten times though, but uh, basically give him a thousand, leave. Go back and talk to him again. Give him another thousand. And you eventually give him up to 10,000 gold. 
and you'll get 40,000 in return. You actually get 50,000, but since you spent 10,000, you only get 40,000. All right, so select a thousand gold. All right, so that's twice. We need to do it another eight more times. I'll do. I'll show you. Me, I'll show me doing it one more time, and then I'll cut the rest of them out. Okay, that's three. Alright, I'll be right back whenever I do it ten times. Alright, I slowed it down. And this will be the tenth time doing it. So we'll be able to get the 40,000. Okay, I probably gotta leave and then come back, right? Or maybe talk to him? Okay, so let's leave and come back. And this should be it. Should be all I gotta do it. Because I did it ten times. Hey, I've been waiting for you. Lady Luck has finally paid me a visit. Thanks to you, I've won big, the jackpot. Here, I've got 50,000 gold for you. Take it. Hee <laughs> hee. So glad you invested in me? Yes, yeah, that was a pretty good investment. I have no need for your help anymore now that I've built up my stack. It's time for the bet of the century. Watch closely. If I win the next hand, I can kiss the stupid apartment. Goodbye forever. Yep, we're up to 63,000 gold now. We gained a profit of 40,000 from that. We're going to be rich and save the world. If you guys know that reference. I'll talk to those people in a second. I didn't see them there. Walk right past them. Oh, we got a general store here. If you're sh shopping, go to the room at the end of the hall. The service ain't great, but their selection is pretty good. Five incense of distrust. If I could make more stuff of those, probably. Yep, right here. Frequently neutralizes enemy GC. History of the Kingdom of Goats. The Ki Kingdom of Goats uh, was once a just a handful of loosely knit settlements bound together to fight the monsters magic and brutal living conditions they faced in the open plains those towns each elected leaders to better defend themselves eventually those leaders became the de facto rulers of the settlements and the most talented held control over larger territory this led to many small kingdoms across the land each led by the king the first King Goza was at first just one such local leader. Thanks to the deaf skills of governance, he gathered several smaller nations together to form the foundation for the Kingdom of Goza, vastly expanding the power of the newfound country in the process. The kingdom's early years were marked by constant battle with competing nations nearby. Particularly the Kents, an aggressive race that valued military ma might. However, ignoring this new political reality, the Kents 
gradually faded in the face of Gosa newfound might. After expanding to cover nearly the entire continent, Gosa found a powerful new enemy across the sea. Ura has a long and full history as warlike as the Kents, but more advanced and enlightened. They had their eyes set on goats and territory, and Gosa was ready to defend it. For ages, the vast ocean and the grueling voyage precluded any large conflict. Then, 30 years ago, a rise in magic synergy, energy brought about the advent of the magic industrial revolution. Its magical bounty made Gotsa the most powerful kingdom in the world. Ura was not ignorant of the importance of magic energy, but at the time, it was preoccupied with ongoing eternal strife, including the sudden abdication of its king. This along with the rumored suppression of magic research by some Uran sorcerers put the nation far beyond Gotsa. Meanwhile, our kingdom's citizens all worked as one to advance the revolution. The return is the great magical realm we see today, Ura is advancing in magic research, but they are still of no great threat to Gotsa. The glory of Gotsa's magic industrial nation will shine through the ages. Hello, Travers. Would you like to have one of our special rings made? Six life stealing tooths. Four shark skins. Let's see if we can make anything new with those. Devouring. Absorbs enemy HP. Level 2. Then we got a new one here as well. From shark skin. Hardened killer level 2. You aren't Goatson, all are you. Sorry, but I've got nothing for nothing for sale if that's the case. Store is well stocked, but I just don't like the shopkeeper's attitude. I guess it's all good as long as you get what you want, but still. I haven't seen you likes of you around here. Who are you? I don't sell a stranger folks. I'm all the way here to shop. Not a single hook will show their face. I wanted some service. How rude. Alright, so we can't buy from these yet, I guess. I guess we gotta come back later. To buy from them. So we went to the 7th floor. We went to the ninth floor. Or we didn't go to the ninth floor. We went to the 7th and 10th. Well, this is on the ninth floor. I don't know if it might not be anything. I don't know. It might have been our floor we already explored. The building built like a maze, isn't it? A lot of the lifts and stairways are out of commission. Dad, you never ever win anything. Why do you keep on gambling? Just knock it off. Mom's angry at you, you know. My daughter yelled at me, stop gambling. I swore to her I'd quit. Even put some money down on it, I did. Okay, so we didn't go this way before. Okay, we got it in here. We don't really need to save it. Uh, we don't really need to heal, though. Another seed, alright. Alright guys. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll continue to explore Goza. Maybe advance the storyline as well. Later.